brace himself to see the rise of China's super unique electric vehicles worldwide. to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and once again this is Arthur and we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. In this video, you are going to see some of the best but super unique electric vehicles from China that are already gaining popularity in the world. So without further ado, let's get right to our number one. Number one is Medellin going electric with Chinese made buses. Medellin, Colombia's second largest city, unveiled the first fleet of Chinese made electric buses to join the city's mass transit network. The 64 buses manufactured by BYD a leader in the electric vehicle industry, are expected to begin circulating. The buses will serve to connect the city's different means of transport, especially the subway. Initially, 15 of the new buses will operate along a major avenue connecting the north and west. Number 2 is 25 unmanned electric trucks put into use in North China's Tianjin port. Twenty-five self-driving trucks debuted at an autonomous driving show at Tianjin Port, featuring technological advances independently developed by domestic companies. The trucks, jointly developed by domestic companies Sino Truck and Truck Tech, have completed up to 30,000 hours of pilot operation at Tianjin Port, handling shipping containers up to 8,000 times. Number 3 is Chinese made electric truss trucks may debut in Brazil. Cutting-edge automotive advance can be seen rolling down the streets of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. But it won't turn heads. It's not flashy or sleek. Still, there's plenty reason for the city's newest trust truck to gain admirers. It's 100% electric, the first of 200 on order from Chinese vehicle maker BYD. It looks like a conventional garbage truck, but this one is all electric, the first of its kind operating in Brazil, and the one chosen as the best alternative to diesel trucks. Number 4 is Chinese electric garbage truck making Ryu a clean energy powerhouse. An all-electric garbage truck manufactured by Chinese vehicle maker BYD was first launched recently in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Number 5 
the ET8A model, which will collect and compact organic waste at Kadig, a local large market, is poised to promote electric vehicles in a South American country. Buying the truck started a chain reaction of environmental measures at Clean Ambiental, which began to look for ecological ways to produce the energy the truck needed to operate. Number 5 is Chinese electric bus giant looks overseas. With its huge home market and government backing for electric vehicles, Yutong, China's biggest bus group and the world's largest by sales, wants to push ahead of international rivals. Number 6 is China wants 3 million electric cars on road by 2025. China's goal of putting 3 million electric cars on the road by 2025 still appears to be on track. But some automakers who took government money without delivering as promised are being forced to pay that money back. The electric car industry is booming in China. At the Chengdu Auto Show held in southwest China's Sichuan province, electric vehicles were seen just about everywhere. Chinese and foreign automakers showcasing their latest electric innovations. Number 7 is Chinese Electric Mini Truck Heads to Pick Up U.S. Buyers Electric vehicles have grown in popularity thanks in part to companies like Tesla, Nissan, and Chevrolet. But EVs can be quite pricey something Kaiyun Motors from China is steering clear of by with its simpler and more affordable vehicle. China's Kaiyun Motors owns Las Vegas registered Kyle Electric Auto, which is now selling Pikman EV pickup trucks in the United States. Number 8 is Electric Ship Conducts Trial Operation on Yangtze River in Hebei, China. A homegrown electric ship has conducted a trial operation in central China on the Yangtze River, China's longest waterway. Junliu is the first electric ship weighing above 1,000 tons to sail the Yangtze. It took two years to build the vessel by altering an oil-powered ship. With powerful lithium batteries, the 53-meter-long ship can carry 300 people. 
It is also the country's first electric ship with a length of more than 50 meters. And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks, Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. day.